guests, and hopefully we're able to share some Christmas cheer with you. Uh, as Paul said, I'm Jonathan Schleicher. I'm one of our administrators at Concordia. I've been blessed to be there for eight years, and every time uh, we get to have our choir go out with the community, uh, it's a fun experience. Uh, we just had our Christmas concert on Sunday night, um, and that was wonderful to be back uh, in a church, uh, not wearing masks and being able to see the joy on the kids' faces. Um, last school year, um, this our choir uh, had some uh, kind of adversities having to sing with masks on, uh, the state competition was done virtually, so they had to record themselves singing. Uh, but there's a, a, I just wanted to share a little bit about Concordia before they uh, get going. Um, we, just from the students up here, well, let me back up. All right, we have about 550 students at Concordia. Uh, we serve grades nine through 12. Uh, we're a private Christian high school here in, in uh, Tomball. We have students that come from, I'm going to read the list of all of these communities, um, and I just think it's interesting for you as you think of all of the Houston Metro, we have students that are driving from these communities every day. Tomball, Spring, Houston, Cypress, Bridgeland, Katy, Magnolia, Montgomery, Navasota, The Woodlands, Conroe, Willis, and Porter. So thinking about... As we look at where students are coming from, families are sending their kids to us. Some families are driving 45 minutes one way for something at Concordia. Um, so we love sharing that with people in the community. Um, there's some neat things about the, this group up here. Uh, we want all of our students at Concordia to be involved in many different activities. Uh, unlike some of the larger schools where you kind of have to specialize and only do one thing, um, our students are involved in two, three, four extracurriculars every year plus taking uh, dual credit classes here through Lone Star or AP classes as well. Um, but just from this small group of, of students up here, we have these following sports and fine arts represented. We have a volleyball player, a cheer girl, our cheer team just got state runner up last week. Uh, we, we have cross country, theater students, tennis, shotgun team, soccer, golf, and lacrosse. Yeah. So our students truly are Many of them serve on clubs and, and leadership groups on campus. Um, I didn't even think about that. But I do want to just say thank you. There's uh, some alumni parents and friends of the, of the school in the room. Um, thank you for your support. Um, I know some of you know David and Lori uh, Quinn. Um, if you have any questions about Concordia, um, they would be great people to kind of ask. Uh, they've been partners with us in ministry for well over a decade. And uh, we just hope you enjoy this, this uh, performance. Last thing that I'll say, uh, our choir uh, did win the state championship for TAPS last year. Uh, I think every single uh, student up here on the stage was part of that team. Um, and even given all of the trials of having to record and not get to go to Waco for the real competition, um, you know, our students did an exceptional job and we look forward to kind of um, seeing how they do this year. But, it's not about the, the titles, it's not about the championships, it's about the joy of the season of Advent and our Savior coming. So, um, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you for the um, as you said, uh, this is the chamber choir from Concordia Lutheran High School. Uh, this ensemble behind me is auditioned and selected from our larger uh, concert choir, which this year we have 73 um, who auditioned and made that group. Uh, and these uh, 16, usually 16 singers, would be selected from that group. You can see, potentially, that there's not 16 up here. We're a little short-handed, uh, especially with our male sections. Um, we've had some sickness going through the choirs, and I was uh, talking with Paul earlier today, um, a little worried that we potentially wouldn't be able to be here if I was missing an entire section from the group, uh, which we were one away from that, um, but we have one of our tenors who is staying strong and singing with us uh, this afternoon. And thankfully, we're still able to be here uh, to perform for you all um, because we've done this performance uh, all 10 of my years at Concordia uh, and in the years prior to me, um, I think the Chamber Choir was a part of this luncheon in December as well. Um, so we're excited to share some Christmas music with you. Uh, as he said, our concert was just a couple days ago, and so you'll hear some pieces from the concert. Um, we're going to start uh, with three short familiar carols, uh, We Three Kings, Angels We Have Heard On High, uh, and Silent Night will be our first little set, so we hope you enjoy. 
next one uh, was from our Christmas concert uh, on Sunday. Um, it's not as familiar of text. It's called This Endress Night. Uh, it's a Christmas carol text from the 15th century. Um, and it uses some old English words that aren't used anymore. Uh, and basically, it's a conversation between Mary and her child um, in the major. So this is This Endress Night. season, I guess, of this semester with singing for you all uh, for this Christmas season uh, as we have the uh, middle of finals week uh, for the students behind me. Um, we're going to close with a prayer. Uh, this is John Rutter's arrangement of God Be In My Head. So thank you again very much and blessings on your Christmas. Yes, sir. So Michael, one thing, I, I request, when you've done this song, do you think you could uh, put this in a song and we can all stand up and sing with you? Yes, after this, we can do the doxology. Fantastic. Right, so we'll do God be my head, and then I'll give us a pitch for doxology, and we'll, we can do that.